Yo, what's up, little pups? What's up, little pups? It's your boy, T Crow Daddy Savage. Buzzfeed personality quiz of this 50 question personality test will reveal which The Office character you are. Guys, well, if you don't know me, well, I'm obsessed with The Office. So, yeah. I don't know why I did that. Guys, literally, I've been up for so long. I've been up for almost 24 hours. Yeah, I think I'm a little sleep deprived, but that's besides the point. Point is, yeah. <laughs> point is, a lot of you guys have been commenting saying that I need to get original content and um, better micro microphone and a uh, better lighting and camera. And well, yes guys, I'm working on it, but I can't do everything at once. So, yeah, therefore, I'm trying small stuff at first, like holding this microphone up to my face, so that way you guys can hear me better, because that was one of the comments. Uh, for the camera, I really can't do nothing right now. I'm trying to get a new one, but there's a lot of stuff going on right now. For the lighting, like I said, those were $5, so I'll probably get like two three more just place them all up on my tv right there and yeah for the content well that's why i'm doing new stuff every day like this 50 question personality test for the other stuff that i do too but yeah guys without further ado that's just a little bit of nonsense and i've been saying so so yeah guys i mean i'm trying my best to do stuff that you guys like and everything and i tried listening to what you guys say so yeah i mean let me know guys you guys are like the ones who are helping me build this and everything like you guys gotta tell me what you guys like and what you guys don't like and what's wrong with it and what's good with it and let me know what i can improve on and everything so yeah guys a lot of nonsense that i just said in that whole beginning there if you're still around for this thank you guys let's get into this 50 question personality test will reveal which the office character you are this quiz is 97 percent accurate i don't know let's uh let's hop into this quiz First question, you can keep a secret. Strongly agree, somewhat agree, neutral, somewhat disagree, and strongly disagree. Well, I do, I can keep secrets, like, I can, depending on what they are and everything, so we're going to go with strongly agree on that one. Your room is typically messy. <laughs> yes, somewhat agree, somewhat agree. Okay. Yeah, look, he, I still got him. What's the name, guys? Let me know. Let me know a name for him. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. I think that's kind of better. I don't know. We'll find out later. You're the life of the party. I mean, I don't really go to parties, but like, I feel like if I did, I would be. So we're just going to go neutral. I bet I'm probably going to get Stanley. Just go neutral on all these. It'll be Stanley. I can tell you. Or, no, not Stanley. So, uh, strongly disagree would be Stanley for this one right here. Yeah. Uh, you identify as an introvert. Yep, I'm an introvert. Strongly agree. At first. At first, when you first meet me. I know, it doesn't seem like it is, but I am. Trust me. You have high standards. Mm, neutral. It, it Again, it depends. You love drama. I mean, I don't love drama that's going on about me, but I do like to be nosy about other people's drama, so some would agree. You scare easily, meaning like, do I get scared easily or do I scare people easily? I'm going to go with the first one, get scared easily, and that's a strongly agree. Guys, don't try. I'm telling you now, it will not be good. Let me know down in the comments, though, if you want me to do a try not to scare Try not to get scared challenge. I'm I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying. 
so hard to get a group of people together in like a video call there we go in a video call for like quarantine try not to laugh and like try not to get scare challenges but like nobody's talking to me about it so yeah guys if you want to be a part of it let me know down in the comments below all right let's get next question you're a hopeless romantic i'm just gonna go neutral on that one you're a stickler for the rules <laughs> that's gonna be dwight if you click strongly agree <laughs> uh i mean sometimes but then so we'll go with someone to, no neutral yeah neutral okay You'd rather read a book than watch a movie? <laughs> Strongly disagree. No. No. People can rarely upset you. I mean, again, it depends on the situation. But for the most part, no. I don't get upset easily. Unless it's something really personal. And then, well, you can just get the fuck out of here with that. So, you can, bye. So, we'll go with somewhat disagree. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. Strongly agree. Yep. Eh, all the time. All the time. Like, every time someone talks to me in something, I always think about it after the fact. Like, I think about stuff that happened back when I was a kid. And, like, do you guys ever get that? Like, when that happens to you guys? Let me know. You're very detail oriented. Uh, again, it depends on the situation, so we'll go with some degree. At this specific moment in time, you feel lonely. Lonely <laughs> all the time. Is there a strongly, strongly agree by it? Because that's me all the time. <laughs> You're all you almost always text back. Agree. Strongly agree. That's something about me, guys. If you text me, unless I'm doing a YouTube video, sleeping, or playing games, I always text back immediately. So, yeah, guys. That's something cool about me. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is, like, a, some type of application to be in a relationship with somebody with all these, like, what? It doesn't seem like the office personality quiz. No. Okay. Whatever. Continue. If you're going somewhere, you like to plan everything out. Yes, I do. Uh, but then again, I do like to go with the flow. Again, it depends on the situation. So, you're religious. Religious. Neutral. I'm not even going to get into that topic because there's a lot of people who are and who aren't. So, we're just going to leave that as that. Being organized is important to you. <laughs> Somewhat agree. It depends on the situ situation again. Like, if it's my life, well, my life's not organized. But if it's something to do with work and all that other stuff, yes, I do. You love group projects. Strongly disagree. I don't like groups at all. I do not like talking in public. I do not like big groups of people. So, you're typically on your phone while watching. <laughs> I'm always on my phone. It's what I do. You make your bed every... Man, I never make my bed. If you guys can see right now, my bed ain't made. It's never made. What you mean? You like dirty... J <laughs> Always. That's going to be Michael. Michael Scott. Michael Scott, this one is for if you strongly agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. It bothers you when things don't go as planned. I mean, again, depends on the situation. Yes and no. Like, if... I don't know. I mean, I'll just go with someone agree. You panic easily. I mean, when it comes to gaming and family, yes. But anything else, no. So we're going to go with someone agree. You love talking about yourself. I feel like if you hit strongly agree on all of these, you're going to no doubt get Michael Scott. Think about it. You love talking about yourself. Michael Scott does. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm neutral. Sometimes I do, and then I just like to listen to what other people have to say. You prefer rom-coms over action movies. Well, mm, I mean, I'm neutral. I like both, but, like, over 
action movies? No, it's neutral. You pay your bills on time. Yes, I always do. That's one thing about me. That's why I have, like, no money most times, because I always pay all my bills. Yeah. Sad thing about being an adult, you have to pay bills. Good thing. Well, I haven't figured that out yet, but if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. You exercise almost every day. Strongly disagree. I don't. I should probably do that, though. But maybe a 30-day transformation for you guys. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. You think your life is pretty boring. Yeah. Sleep. Games. Work. Nothing else. You love large cat. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. No. I don't. You prefer listening to facts rather than feelings. I mean. Again. It depends on the topic. Like if it's relationship then no, I'd rather listen to feelings, but if it's anything else, then so will go to some degree. You always think people are judging you. Yeah, I I feel like that's, you know, you always judge other people. Uh, someone disagree, I sometimes do. You make friends very easily. Yeah, I, I kind of do, yeah. You believe in love at first sight. Sometimes. You never have anything. Uh, uh, someone disagree. Sometimes I do, but that's just, you know, everybody, right? All right, cool. You are not scared to tell somebody that you disagree with them. Uh, I mean, agree somewhat. Your goals in life are clear. Uh, are they though? I'm kind of trying to process, not process, I'm trying to plan everything out right now, but for now, we're going to go with somewhat disagree. Yes. You're confident in almost everything you do. Neutral. Yep, neutral. You're very artistic. No, I cannot draw. Speaking of, if I had a pen and everything right now, I would draw something real quick for you guys but no you believe in monogamy someone degree just because I don't fully understand that question but like yeah you're a very independent person it depends on the situation I mean sometimes I am but then other times like I'm not like when it comes to starting a new job and everything I'm not but yeah you believe in ghosts Oh, yeah, I strongly agree with that because I've seen them firsthand, ghosts. You prefer quality over quantity. Ah, neutral. I mean, you're almost never late for things. Strongly agree. I'm never late for anything. I've never been late for work. Well, okay, I've been late for work once, but that's because I woke up late. So, you cry at least once a week. Do I have to answer this one? Oh, I mean, yeah, someone agree. Let's just see. You have a wide circle of friends. No, not really. I only have like, let's see. Wow, my life's pretty sad. I only have like five friends, if that. You can easily fall asleep on planes, buses, etc. Uh, neutral. It depends on how comfortable the seats are. How much room I have and how tired I am so so we'll go with someone agree yeah knowing that you wouldn't get caught you'd rob a bank mm -hmm. yeah because well money <laughs> and if you rob that bank you donate most of the money to charity someone agree what, what? how do I get Kelly Kapoor bro what you're most likely Kelly Kapoor. You're friendly, outgoing, and super talkative. Okay. Okay. I I can see. I can see it now. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might call you nosy or a busybody. Shut up. But that's only because you're emotionally invested in your relationship with them. You're extremely com competent and also a bit of a gossip. Even though you have a lot of friends, you prefer to spend your free time catching up on your favorite TV shows. <sighs> mm. 
while simultaneously live tweeting and texting people. Of course. Ah, well, you see here. Yeah, I can kind of relate to that. The, especially this first right here. Friendly, outgoing, and super talkative. Once you get to know me, yes, I am. Uh, yeah, let me just try something for fun. Let's just uh, go with strongly agree on all of them. What? It did it again! Anyways, guys. Yes. That'll do it for this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe down below. Yeah, guys. Notifications on once we get to 100. Not 100. <laughs> once we get to 1,000 subscribers, guys. I'm doing a giveaway. I'm still deciding what that's going to be. But, yeah, guys. Take it easy. Have a chill day, everybody. I'll see you next time.